I have a game changer of note in studio. It makes me very excited. I've seen her playing on the football pitches and now she's really evolved into such an incredible woman in sport to be taken seriously. Coach, of course, of the ladies team at the High Performance Center, footballer, uh, a football defender uh, for Banyana Banyana. She's joining me in studio, very relaxed, looking absolutely gorgeous. Something we hardly see <laughs> because you're always in shorts and, and playing and sweaty, you know, on the playing field. Welcome to the Ladies Club. Thank you for having me, Lady. How does it feel to be on the couch this morning? Well, Yes, girl. <laughs> Dish it out. It feels great. All it right. feels great. You know, I've swapped track suits. Yes. Well, not that much, but... We yeah, like the look. It feels good to, you know, just up, up a little, a little bit. bit. You right. know, <laughs> eyebrows and fleek you know? and all of that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> all right, let's, let's, let's get to the meat of, of the conversation. Khoriki Mang Simpiwe. Wow. Simpiwe is... Well, I go by Shori van der Rudru. Yes, yes, I know. <laughs> On Twitter. Please look out for Shori van der Rudru, just by the way. Yes. Um, I'm a girl, tomboy, actually, mm -hmm. that grew up in the busy streets of Alexandra. Yeah. Gaslami, Langpuma Corner. That's where I grew up and played with the boys. Everything I did with the boys. My grandmother had to, you know, chase me from sending me to the store. She'll find me playing soccer in the streets mm. with the boys. Lali Tupal. Mm. You know, and that has been me. If I play with the girls, if I see the boys playing with the ball, bye girls. If even if it's Lalum Kush or skipping his cut and zooting feel bye, I don't bye even girl. say bye. Yeah. They just see skipping his pants or whatever. Yeah. And I'm gone to playing soccer. And that has been me my whole life, and I've been happy with that. On the twist of things, people don't know much that I love acting, I love singing. You though I'm not a good singer. You love singing? I'm not a good singer. Okay, but now you started a different topic now because I wanted to talk about your football. So you now you love it because that's what the platform is supposed to be. <laughs> We're supposed to know you beyond the, the playing field, you know? Yes. So you love singing? I love singing. I love acting. Obinang. You know, I love the soil. I love lyrics. Okay, at the end of the tour conversation, maybe, hopefully. Maybe. Ne? <laughs> All right, so you love the soil, you love acting. What yes. else do we not know about Simpiwe besides her, her passion of football, her coaching that we'll get into a little bit later? And your yesteryears, you've retired also from football. So what else do, do we not know about Simpiwe? I love dancing. What? I love dancing. I used to be an MC actually in live matches at, at the University of Pretoria. So varsity sport, you'd find me with the mic, making yeah. making the crowd go up and down, you know, at, the, at tags also with their PSL matches. I used to do that. But it it started long time ago because MCs and all of that, it was just part comma funny then. Yes. You know, so with me, if things just stayed there, I'm shying on my mind, I'm going to go to my mind. I'm Half time. I'm going to experience it. Yeah. You know, so that's me. I wear... I am, there'll be laughter, there'll yes. be dancing, there'll be just good conversations yes. outside of football. Then when you say football, everything changes. Yeah. Yes, Xinjiang, about Robocop, yeah. let's talk football. What are you saying? Let's talk about you know? football. Um, your experience in the Bafan, in the Banyana Banyana part, in Banyana Banyana setup. How was that for you? Being at Banyana Banyana helped me transition from being just a child in the streets, having mm. a dream, mm. to realizing my dream, Guti, actually. I could have my surname printed on my at the back of my sure. T-shirt, you know, and that has helped me grow and understand who I am as a person, as a girl in society, growing mm. up with boys, cousins, and all of that, and understanding what I had the talent. Um, though some people would have said, ah, when I was in common, but I always said, talent and hard work goes all together. There we go. I, I wore that suit everywhere there we I went. Go. You know, so football took me to places I would I would have never imagined. It, it, it showed me channels that I never knew existed. You know, it, it gave me confidence in everything that I did in my life because somehow it gave me platforms to different things. Absolutely. It being football, it, it has always been my sanctuary, if, if I may put it that mm. way, because when you say football, my eyes pop up. Yes. And I can do and I can be anything within football. And, that's, and here you are, that's what you are now. Yes. Okay, t tell us now, you, because you, you've just said you can be anything in football. Marakimo, you've immersed yourself now in coaching and, and something that's not so easy to get into. But thank goodness the platform, Yabanyana, your performances spoke for themselves. Hence, you are where you're at at the High Performance Centre. Yeah, I mean, um, I've, I've always been a vocal person, you know. So yeah. on the field, Yimu coach, and being a defender and a captain in yeah. most of the teams I played for, you organize, you become that coach. And I think it grew on me. 
And my friends today, they even say, well, no, I do a coach from playing days. You've been <laughs> a coach on the field. So I, I realized that I'm passionate about that, you know, and I wanted to give back, not just give back, ticking a box, but I wanted to make a difference as well because I've had a couple of uh, good female coaches that have coached me and showed me the game and taught me the game, and I wanted to become that as well and more. So that's why I went into coaching and I said, I'll make that history, you know, sure. because usually I'm opportunities just for us to play and then get out. But I said, I want to stretch it as far as I can. And lucky for me, I'm passionate about it. A friend was on this, uh, the hot seat and she told us about your coaching abilities, the UFB license that you got and being one, I think you the only one in the country only female in the country. Just tell me a little bit more about that, how it feels and what you're hoping that will open for you and the, those that are looking up to you. Um, I will tell you about me and what I know. Mm -hmm. I know I'm one of, yes. maybe the only one in South Africa, yeah. in Africa, I'm not sure. Yeah. But yeah, I have a UFRB license. Yes. Um, I did my CAF B license in South Africa with uh, ex-professionals and top of my class. So I got an opportunity to go to the Netherlands yes. to do uh, my UEFA B license four months there and it was freezing. Apparently like, so. <laughs> no matter. The worst ones when I had to do my practicals and you know now they're Dutch. I, I'm not sure if they'll understand my English. Now yes. it's cold. Now you must understand. <laughs> I'm, <trying laughs> the, I'm nervous. All of those. Yeah. But those were good experiences that I took with me to say it's not going to be easy. Yeah. If it comes easy, it easily, you know, slips away from your fingers. And for me, that just said, woman, you can do it. You are able, you are capable yeah. of being at the top.